Okay. Uh, well, good morning, everybody. Well, I was browsing the um, I was browsing the Twitch forums, the Twitch Reddit forums specifically, and um, this is gonna be this is gonna be a bit more of a PSA type video clip, but I saw this here, and this is something I really can wholeheartedly agree with. Tell a streamer to fix their stuff. If you join a stream and notice the streamer's mic being captured or desktop audio too loud, just tell them. In fact, um, my go live my go live notification has this on here because um it's very very infuriating when this happens. I've got a bad memory, and or I'm too busy doing what I doing what I'm doing to really pay attention to whether or not my mic's working or whether I accidentally have the audio up too loud or too quiet, etc. But yeah, I totally agree with this. If you join a stream and notice the streamer's mic isn't working or isn't being captured with what they're saying, or desktop audio is too loud, etc., just tell them. This is one of those things that one of those things that I really appreciate because um, I'm sure I've had a fair amount of viewers, potential or potential viewers that have come on my channel, probably here, and I'm not even aware that my mic isn't working, and they come in and they hear me doing this. You know, and then they go end up going off to another streamer. <clears throat> you know, but not even you know, not even let me know. Hey, my mic's not working. You know, you you don't tell me. I mean, I don't, <clears throat> I don't have the mic off just to piss you off. I mean, I have it off. I, I have it off because there's a malfunction. You know, that that kind of thing. Save them being like me, getting two and a half hours into a stream for a while, my mic audio wasn't being captured, or in my case. His complaint is due to Streamlabs multi-audio splitting. Mine is, it just quits. <clears throat> like it, it'll be working fine one moment, all of a sudden, pfft, it just stops. And I won't notice until like, through two and a half hours, there's been times where the mic will cut off on me at the start of the stream. I'll go, I'll stream three or four hours all the way through and not even notice that I had no mic that entire time. Nobody said a word to me. You know, so basically I had a I had a I had a deep six that entire stream video because you know, he couldn't hear me or my vital music at all, so I completely understand this. You know, been here. Yup, and I noticed there are 973 likes. There are a whole lot of people that totally agree with this. But, uh, it seems most of these people here use Streamlabs, whereas I use uh, OBS. Okay, so they're, they're talking about Streamlabs there. Been here too. Usually when I stream, um, I often have multiple windows going at once. Um, like for example, Final Fantasy fourteen, I'll often have a I'll have my web browser also up as well, um, giving me information. Um, Google, um, like the Final Fantasy fourteen Skywatcher lets me know what the what what the weather is where, and recently. I think it's called Team Craft or something like that. A guy named Sirloin of Beef pointed that out for me. Extremely valuable. But, you know, but, you know, these are things I have also, or excuse me, these are things I have in the background too. So, um, and oftentimes when somebody wants me to, wants me to check out a video they found or for a picture they drew, I'll often put it up in my web browser and I'll put it on my OBS so everybody else can see it too. And not just, not just me. But yeah, there's times I'll I'll forget I'll forget to turn off my uh, web browser view or web browser capture, and I'll still well going back to the game playing like normal. Somebody has to actually remind me, hey Joe, uh, 
you're on a web browser thingy still up. Oh, and I have to, I have to switch it out and all that. So. Yup. This is something. This is something else too. I'm a small-time streamer. So um, the the few that the few people that come on are very very important to me. It isn't like those high-end streamers. I mean, you know, one streamer gets mad. Hey, I don't like you, man. I'm leaving. Pew. No big deal. He's got nine hundred and ninety-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine followers that are still with him so he probably couldn't give two shits about that one guy disappearing in my case that one guy disappearing on me I take very seriously so but yeah things things like that are a serious issue excuse me things like this are a serious issue with me because who knows how many uh, potential friends I or how many friends and pals and buddies I could have had had I had my audio and video actually worked so And they're getting technical here, so. Okay, so by judging by this, there is a lot of stuff to go through. So, um, I forgot to mention this morning, or I forgot to mention at the start of this video that uh, I still gotta hop in the shower yet. Um, I'm, I gotta, I still have to get my uh, stream ready for uh, get my Final Fantasy 14 stream ready for the evening. So, still gotta work on that. So, but uh. I just saw this and I thought it would be a I thought it'd be a good thing to comment on. So but once again it's kind of a recap, kind of a PSA. If there's something wrong with the audio and video on my stream, please let me know. I mean I'm not I'm not doing it I'm not having enough to be a jerk or anything or you know, I'm not I'm not super super cheap that I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go to go to the thrift store and buy an old 1974 microphone with the with the the business and about as big as my head, you know, though that kind of thing. You know, it's not not that not trying to skip on quality, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, you get what I mean. But anyway, um, I gotta bail. Like I said, I gotta I gotta hop in the shower. I gotta get the uh, this evening stream all set up and everything. So so aside from that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Oh, hey. Uh, well, <laughs> good morning, everybody. Um, I had just gotten through completing one one video from the uh, from the from the very same forums here. Um, I just saw this, so I figured this here would probably be another interesting one that'd be worth commenting on. Uh, there is a difference between playing a game on stream and creating content. Uh, I can kind of understand where he's coming from on this, but uh, to me, at least in my mind, at least in the grand scheme of things, there is no difference. You're, I mean, at least technically, play, playing a game on stream is creating content again at least in and of itself you're creating your I mean you actually are creating content even if it's playing a game on stream although again I do understand what he get what he's getting at here um, it is one of my uh, it is one of my streamer turnoffs oh to, to be fair I did kind of rehearse this somewhat I kind of scrolled down and read a little bit up I kind of glossed over some of this so That is based on your content and ability to engage. Um, at least with me, this is a, this is a, it's basically a two plus man job. Um, I get a lot of lurkers. I'll get lurkers on my channel who don't talk. And uh, because of that, I don't, I don't really know what to say. Or, you know, it's basically the more you talk, the more I'll talk. So it, it, with me, it's kind of a kind of synergistic, for lack of a better word. 
I mean, I do. I mean, I do try to have conversations with myself when I'm playing, whenever I'm playing a game. But um, I could probably do a lot more if uh, somebody else is actually trying to interact with me. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I stream to begin with. Is uh, you know, for a chance to like maybe other people coming on and interacting with me, and we you know interact with each other. I mean, if that wasn't the reason why I'm, I mean, if that wasn't the reason I wouldn't be streaming to begin with. I'd have just uh, played my single player stuff, and then probably at best upload my stuff to YouTube. But so I again I do understand what he's getting at because if uh, if you're completely silent, like totally you know totally dead silent, and if I try to chat with you, and um and if you're just you know oh hi hi yeah oh yeah big issue yeah uh huh. Oh, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. You know, I, if that's all you're doing, or if you're treating your viewers like a distraction, then, yeah, I, I totally agree with what he's saying here. Oh, I work beside streamers to help them develop their channel. Is this an advertisement? Uh, cast or die? I don't see anything in here. Uh, I don't see a sponsor flag or anything. Okay, I don't... This is something I'd have to look at later. After... Excuse me. I'd have to look at later. Like I said, I'm kind of running behind right now. I have to... I still got a... I still got a shower. I still got to get my uh, evening stream set up and everything, so... So this again, I'll I'll look at this at another time. I could prop I could probably do a whole video on whatever he's got in that link. We have found the skill improvement and content creation. And um kind of a side note here. You don't have you don't your content creation doesn't have to stop at just streaming whatever it is you're streaming. You can do what I do. Hell, you can do what I'm doing right now. You know, comment on it. You know, I'll blow some clips. You know, I'll blow, the, I'll blow the YouTube video. I'll upload, I'll blow you going to the, or I'll blow the video of you going to the bathroom or something. You know, um, do what I'm doing here. I'm doing, com doing running commentary on a forum thread. You know, so content creation doesn't have to stop when the stream ends. There's still much more you can do outside of it. Um, what do I enjoy? How do I make this a group activity? Mm. In my mind, these are hard. These are some uh, really hard questions to answer. <clears throat> but uh, but it also comes from my experiences as a viewer as well. I know when I come on someone's channel, and um, if I just want to hang out and watch them. And all of a sudden, hey, Joe Schmo, what's up, man? How's it going? If I, the moment I hear that, chances are going to be more likely, <laughs> I'm pretty much going to be gone because that, to me, that's kind of, kind of a creepy stalker issue, and um, that's also backed by experience. I've had a, I've done that before too. Like I've, uh, I don't remember where I looked, but you can, uh, there's a way you can find out the name of the per the name of the person that comes on, the name of the person that comes on your. On your stream, I think I only did it one time that I can recall. But yeah, I'd look at his name and hey, Billy Bob, what's going on, man? How's it going? How you doing? And then seconds later, pew, he's gone. So, voice of experience on that. Cooking shows. Um, I'd probably take his word for it on this one here because I don't watch cooking shows. Or maybe one day I'll come out, I'll come out with the art of the microwave. Probably won't be a very impressive, impressive show. Yep. And for those that, basically what he just said here is they took, 
a simple concept like cooking and twist and bend it in all sorts of different ways. Even most popular streamers are kind of doing the same thing as well. But um, and I can tell you from doing what I do for probably about three years, in it's not a 100% guarantee that that's going to work. I mean, because I stream sitting on the floor, you know, but it's not like I have, you know, viewers in droves. Hey, check this streamer out, man. He streams sitting on the floor. <sighs> you know, big old hordes of people coming to check me out. I mean, I don't have that. Even despite the fact that I'm probably the only person that I can think of that streams this way by sitting on the floor. Um, I'm probably, uh, I'm probably uh, one of few people that I can think of that, uh, that streams while, while playing vinyl records. I can think of maybe one other person that I know of that, that does that. But then again, you know, I don't have hordes of people coming down to my channel. Hey, that guy plays vinyl records. Check him out. <sighs> I mean, never had that. So, but um, uh, my quick capsule opinion on that, um, to be a successful streamer, to me, is going to be Z, all of the above. I think, um, I think you need, pretty much everything has to work. Um, again, only having a niche isn't going to be enough to get you by. I mean, you know, or being able to stream uh, 250 frames per second, that alone isn't going to be enough to get you by. Because if, if you've got that kind of quality, but if you're still a total asshole behind the camera, or webcam in this case, that ain't going to matter much. If you stream while wearing a clown, stream wearing a clown suit with maybe a dildo attached to top, to the top of your head, I mean, but if if your stream quality is like 280 pixels and like 15 frames per second, I mean, I mean, not a whole lot of people is gonna want to hang out with you. So, it, to me, everything it takes everything to be a good streamer. Next generation of streamers will have to evolve by breaking the streamer mold. Yup. Um, to me, streaming is very much a saturated market now. A lot of fish in the sea. Um, yup. This I have to agree with as well. It's gonna get hard. It's getting harder and harder as uh, more and people start streaming. Um, I could probably give a, I could probably give a super long-winded opinion on this, but as uh, as uh, my time's kind of starting to run short here, I'll I'll look at probably the first first one or two one or two posts rating someone like soda pop with four viewers <laughs> in and out four viewers soda pop and I'm assuming he's a he's a super high caliber streamer he probably has one million followers so yeah rating with only four view with only four viewers and somehow thinking you're gonna make a Great grand contribution. Yeah, I mean, it ain't gonna matter. It ain't gonna matter much. Not to somebody that already has one million followers. Oh, miss this part. In an effort to grow your channel, it's pretty much useless. And could even be insulting if you're trying to grow your stream and trying to use your fame to do it. Yup. Yup. I'd be insulted by that too, but I'm a small time streamer. I mean, if the only reason you're coming on my channel is just. If, if, if the only reason why you're coming on my channel is just to promote your own, yeah, I'd screw you, buddy. <laughs> Bye. Click. You know, very disrespectful. Um, networking. I guess theoretically, yeah, I'd agree with that. But um, for the first six months before I actually started streaming myself, this is what I did. I just hung out with other streamers, just, you know, check them out and stuff. But once I started streaming, 
it became very difficult for me to do it because usually I'm too busy streaming and doing other stuff myself so I and I basically my whole life revolves around time slots so I mean I'll, I'll work a 40 hour a week job um, and this is especially true these days I've taken to lifting weights so sleep is very very important for me because that's when your body grows most of its muscle is while you're asleep so I need I need at least at least five hours so there's five hours gone so that's 13 hours and then you know then I want to stream like at least at least a couple hours you, you, you get the you get the idea it's just my days are pretty much packed so I don't really have a whole lot of time to do other stuff but I'm so I mean basically what I'm saying is uh before I started streaming, uh, that was when I did most of my networking. But when I started streaming, it's hard for me to really network now. Maybe an hour at the most, but but even then, actually finding somebody worth networking with is very rare. Making yourself known relevant as a viewer. Yes. Like I said, don't go on that person's stream just to promote your channel. If you did it to me, if you did it on mine, despite the fact that I'm a super small time streamer, you'd have been out the door. So. Um. By default, by default, if I like you enough, I'll just host you automatically. So I. I mean, granted, there is a certain there's a certain hierarchy or host hierarchy that I use. You know, guys that I hardly talk to, I'll put them on the bottom of the list. But uh, stuff that I think is very important that I uh, channels that I think are very important, like RPG Limit Break. Um, I think ESA. They're both they're both uh, speed running fundraisers. Uh, I think I have a um, AGDQ. I have those at the top of my host list because I consider them to be very important to very important channels. Yep, but this guy pretty much nailed it right here. Um, but I'll go ahead and like his. But as I'm pretty much uh I'm pretty much out of time right now, I gotta. I gotta get my shower taken. I still have to get my uh, evening stream set up. I'll just go ahead and kill it here. Hell, I still gotta get these two videos uploaded. This and the other one I just made. So, so gotta go. Um, thanks for watching, everybody, and take care. And see y'all next time.